One of the things about struggle in the world which is so fascinating is to master anything is a very arduous process. But the fruit of mastery is the most joyful thing that we have been provided with in the world. The fruits of mastery. That those people who never master anything. And one of the poets said, مَا رَأَيْتُ عَيْبٍ مِنْ عَيُوبَ النَّاسِ كَنَّقْصِ الْقَادِرِينَ عَلَى الْكَمَادِ I never saw a fault among people's faults as bad as the inability of one to achieve perfection who doesn't do so. He couldn't imagine a fault greater than or a deficiency or a blemish greater than one who has the ability to achieve kamal, human perfection, and yet doesn't do so. And one of the beauties of our Islamic tradition is the pursuit of something is the fulfillment of that thing. The Prophet ﷺ told us, Niyat al mu'min ablaghu min amalihi. The intention of a believer will take him further than his actions. And we are told in the Athar that people who set out to memorize the Qur'an will have that teaching completed for them in their grave if they don't finish it before they die. People that set out to learn knowledge will have that completed by the angels for them. And so the pursuit of perfection is perfection itself. This is at the essence of what we have been given. Because we are all falling short of the glory of God. That is our nature. And there's a reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us like that. And that's why the Arabs say, Al-Kamalu Lillah. Perfection in reality belongs only to God. But even human perfection is Lillah. Because you cannot perfect yourself unless it was for God. Al-Kamalu Lillah. That even your human perfection must in reality be for the sake of God. Because if you do anything other than the, for the sake of God, then it is not perfection. It is quite the opposite. It is not only imperfection, it is, the, it is a blemish on your soul. Now the word in Arabic for doing right is asaba. That's one of the words. Asabta sawaba. You did right. Well, what that word means is to strike the arrow. The Arabs say, Asabt al marma. You hit the bullseye, meaning that you got it right. The word for sin in Arabic is akhta'a, which means to miss the mark. In Old English, the word for sin means to miss the mark. So this was an understanding that what we are meant to be doing is aiming for the good. And that is what choice is. And if you fall short, if you transgress, if you go to the right or to the left, that the way you rectify that is toba, to go back, to reset your aim and to start again.